Once upon a time, in a great castle, a prince's daughter grew up happy and contented in spite of a jealous stepmother. She was very pretty, with blue eyes and long black hair. Her skin was delicate and fair, and so she was called Snow White. Everyone was quite sure she would become very beautiful. Though her stepmother was a wicked woman, she too was very beautiful. And the magic mirror told her this every day, whenever she asked it. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the loveliest lady in the land? The reply was always, you are, your majesty, until the dreadful day, when she heard it say, Snow White is the loveliest in the land. The stepmother was furious and, wild with jealousy, began plotting to get rid of her rival. Calling one of her trusty servants, she bribed him with a rich reward to take Snow White into the forest, far away from the castle. Then, unseen, he was to put her to death. The greedy servant, attracted to the reward, agreed to do this deed, and he led the innocent little girl away. However, when they came to the fatal spot, the man's courage failed him and, leaving Snow White sitting beside a tree, he mumbled an excuse and ran off. Snow White was all alone in the forest. Night came, but the servant did not return. Snow White, alone in the dark forest, began to cry bitterly. She thought she could feel terrible eyes spying on her, and she heard strange sounds and rustlings that made her heart thump. At last, overcome by tiredness, she fell asleep curled under a tree. Snow White slept fitfully, wakening from time to time with a start and staring into the darkness round her. Several times, she thought she felt something or somebody touch her as she slept. At last, dawn woke the forest to the song of the birds, and Snow White too, awoke. A whole world was stirring to life and the little girl was glad to see how silly her fears had been. However, the thick trees were like a wall round her. And as she tried to find out where she was, she came upon a path. She walked along it, hopefully. Before long, she came to a clearing. There stood a strange cottage, with a tiny door and tiny windows all shuttered. Could this be the home of the dwarfs? Wondered Snow White, she knocked, but no one replied. She pushed the door open. I'll go in and see if it's all right, she thought. Perhaps they'll let me stay. 